Permits for homes and other new developments are on hold in Dripping Springs. The city halted new development until city infrastructure can get up to speed. KXAN's Caitlin Carmud explores their dilemma with an in-depth look at where else we're seeing growing pain. We got here by being 13 miles just west of Austin. You'll find construction workers scattered all throughout Dripping Springs trying to pave the way for future homeowners. We're just out of wastewater and so we need to do something. Dripping Springs mayor has seen the population double over the last three years. There's only one water treatment plant in the city and has the capacity to serve 3,000 residents with the population of 5,000. Some of the edges of town still rely on septic systems. Dripping Springs is, is larger lots, you know, get some room away from your neighbors. Chris Bessick is a property broker in the area. He says the permit moratorium shouldn't affect the home builds. He's already got approval for three years out. They know growth is going to occur. And he sees the need to expand the wastewater treatment plant. They've been trying to get it built. They're actively trying to get it done. But an environmental group could throw a wrench in those plans. They're protesting a permit for the city's wastewater discharge that the Texas Commission on Environmental Quality approved in 2019. They've taken us into court and it's now going through appeals. And Dripping Springs isn't alone in trying to manage Central Texas growth. We're in the process of quadrupling our first wastewater treatment plant. And in Darrell, with a couple thousand fewer people living there than here in Dripping Springs, there's a delicate balance to not overdo it too. To do an additional development, we are right now aggressively seeking other sources of water. Caitlin Carmoot, KXCN News. The moratorium in Dripping Springs should last until November 27th, but Mayor Foles does expect the city to extend it. A series of public hearings is planned. You can head to Caitlin's report at KXAN.com to get those details and dates.